look at this. <laughs> Nearly unreadable. Uh, I will present you a part of a story I'm presenting to my students every, se uh, every semester. Uh, it's dealing with design and uh, introduction to design, dealing with uh, creativity and uh, teamwork. So let's start. Here you can see, uh, hopefully you can see it, that was an invoice written on the 17th of April 1970. And that was a company called Grumman and they wrote this uh, invoice to North Amer American Rockwell. And uh, maybe you can read it. It's about a towing uh, vehicle about uh, 400,001 miles. Uh, they charged uh, $4 for the first mile and $1 each additional mile, so it's quite a remarkable uh, uh, sum over there. There's also uh, written oxygen they are using, there's also uh, sleeping accommodation for two, no TV, air conditioned, but that's already prepaid. And there's an additional guest in room, $8 per night. And there's also a funny thing over there, charges for, uh, for keeping this invoice confidential, 100,000 euros. <laughs> so, uh, after all, it's more than $417,000 for that invoice. So, now, what's behind that invoice? That's the, what I want to show you. And it started six days earlier, and now you might remember or might you recognize what, is, what I'm talking about. So that was on that day, six days earlier, they started the seventh mission, mission with Apollo and the third mission to land on the moon. There are three guys sitting in this very tiny capsule in this command module. Maybe next week when you visit the, the museum in DC, you will see these, uh, the capsule and the, the moon lander. So they were on their way to, to the moon, sitting here in that, uh, in, that, in that cone. And in front of them, they have the lunar module. They were on their way. Everything went fine. And then about 56 hours after the start, they uh, made a let's say phone call or a call to Houston. And I think you know these famous, uh, famous sentence. Uh, Houston, I believe we have had a problem here. <laughs> so, and uh, now the story starts, or getting worse, because Houston now uh, tries to watch to see what's, what's going on. They reported what's going on. They had an explosion on board, so one of the oxygen tanks exploded, damaged the other one. So they are running out of oxygen, and it's not only oxygen that they use for breathing uh, air. Uh, they had uh, fuel cells on board, so they used the oxygen for producing electricity and uh, water. So that was really critical. And uh, also part of the, the module was damaged, so now that's uh, started a big discussion. So they had to work on the command module and they had to work in Houston and solve the problems to get these three guys back to, to Earth. And the problem there are three, or mainly three problems they had to tackle. The first one, it was no longer uh, safe in that command module, so they had to leave the command module. They decided to go to the lunar module. Uh, that's one point. In the lunar module, there was enough electricity and air and oxygen, so they can survive. But you see it on that, on that invoice, only space for two, and they are free. Mm. So that's the additional person they charged for being in that uh, lunar module. And uh, the other point was they are running out of fuel, so they have gone too far to the moon. So there was no way to make a shortcut to the Earth. So they had to go further on. And so they are using the, the part of, the, of the, the fuel they had in the lunar module to, uh, to go further on. Then. Uh, the next uh, problem they had, um, they had a problem with uh, in the lunar model. They have to charge the batteries here or the accum accumulators here in the, in the command module, and uh, that was the second problem. And they had to find a solution how they can go back to the to, to the Earth 
and it was necessary that they're using the command module to enter the atmosphere. It's not possible with a lunar model, so they had to decide well, how can we do that in a, in a, in a process that's uh, safe for the three guys. So that was the main problem here. You see the damaged uh, command module. And uh, now the problems really started, and that's what I want to show you about teamwork and creativity. Now here they are really under pressure because they have to react quickly, otherwise it's uh, three guys, they really had a problem. And now, yeah, you can see it. Uh, after all, after that uh, accident, they found out, oh, we have different systems. The lunar model and the command module uses different filters. So how to bring this rectangular shape to that round shape. That was one of the problems. They finally uh, made it. They used tapes, a sock, and bags, and <laughs> all the things they could find out uh, in, in, the, in the space ship. So just to get uh, rid of the CO2 in, in, the, in the air. They also have to yeah, find a solution how to charge the, the battery in the command module. That was also not easy. And uh, another problem was, the, I've told you that before, they have gone far too uh, far away to the moon. So at that time, uh, it was also a big teamwork and a big effort. They decided to make for the first time a so-called swing-by maneuver. So they're using the gravity assist from the moon just to accelerate and going back to the Earth. So the whole system went to the moon once, uh, half around the moon, and going back to the Earth. And then third problem was they have to solve within 12 hours. That was a university group uh, of uh, engineers. They solved that problem. They have to decide what should be the pressure here inside uh, to separate the lunar module when they are entering the, uh, the Earth atmosphere. So you see, within two or three days, there have to be a lot of work, a lot of creativity, and a lot of teamwork just to solve that problem that they could safely reach the Earth. And after all, they managed it. So after five days, they land in the ocean, and uh, you see, they survived that, that part of, of their journey. And uh, yes, of course, it was a, a joke from uh, Grumman from Crewman uh, Aerospace because they, are, they were the builder of the lunar model and they told the North American Rockwell, uh, the, the builder of the, <laughs> the command module, that they towed the command module around the moon, so 400,000 uh, miles <laughs> times one dollar, that's the amount you have seen. Thank you.